of things which have come which is not there in the bible christmas tree is not there in the bible santa claus is not there in the bible but you see that they have they have taken over the over the christmas you go everywhere you see the christmas tree you, you see the santa claus now in the olden times in the in the babylon you know, they used to have the same the same uh, tradition they used to cut the trees but that was there to honor the nimrod that was there to honor the false god and the same thing i followed now see in the jelma it says in chapter uh, chapter 10 it says for the practices of the people are worthless they cut a tree out of the, out the forest and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel they adorn it with silver and gold they fasten it with hammer and nails so it will not totter so the same thing used to follow in in babylon to honor the baal to honor the false god and you see the same thing is going on and now you have the santa claus you know the uh, another name for santa claus is kris kringel now what do you mean by kris kringel it's a german word it means the little child so what's happening is that what is saying here is that oh i am that little child worship me do you see jesus in heaven he wears red in isaiah 60 it says why are your garments red like those of one treading the wine press it's asking to jesus now you see the santa claus also he wears red so that's that's the dress of lord jesus christ he wears red and you 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 you, you, you see santa claus also wearing red from where he got that red color that came from jesus christ see he wants to imitate jesus christ now the second thing as you know that you see santa claus riding in the heaven let's read the scripture let's go to uh, deuteronomy chapter 33 there is no one like the god of jehovah one who rides across the heaven to help you add on the clouds in his majesty what he says who rides across the heaven to help you and in the same way they show about santa claus that he rides across the heaven and on the cloud to help you so he's trying to substitute for jesus he's trying to steal the worship of jesus he's called as a christ angel little child he's saying to us oh i am that little child not jesus and you see uh, santa always says ho 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 he always says that that also he copied from the bible let's see here. let's read zechariah chapter 2 verse 6 for i said the lord the jesus saying here will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her verse 6 ho ho come forth and jesus saying here ho ho come forth and flee from the land of the north said the lord for i have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven says the lord see he's copying the language of jesus jesus is saying here ho 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 even the santa does the same thing ho 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 he wears a red santa is seeing riding he's all imitating christ that's the spirit of antichrist as jesus is omniscient omniscient means he knows everything Santa Claus also he also assumes that he knows everything he knows whether you are good or bad and Jesus is omnipresent he is present everywhere even he is even he is uh, telling us that i can be present everywhere 
and jesus is omnipotent he is all powerful he is also pretending that he is all powerful you know that's why that's why, that's the spirit of anti christ you believe it or not and that's why you see today that everywhere you see santa claus you see the christmas tree these are all coming from these are all coming from the paganism